Hey guys, welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. We need to get back to the Ebon Hawk, but there is a fairly tough battle on the other side of this door with six uh, Zug brothers. And uh, yeah, we need to take them down uh, if we want to get back to the Ebon Hawk. Now we've got uh, Mira here, and I was just having a look. She's still got her Ballistic Mesh, which is pretty good. It gives her a defense bonus of five, and it's good against um, uh, close combat as well. But I'm pretty sure we can do better than five defensive bonus. Uh, let's have a look down here. We've got the Achani battle armor which is uh, defense bonus 7 and plus 3 dexterity bonus she's only got th uh, the plus 3 dexterity bonus anyway so that might be good and this one's even better actually the verpine fiber mesh defense bonus 8 and max dexterity bonus 3 so we're gonna go and grab this um, yeah this is a little bit better than the bronzium light battle armor so let's go with the verpine fiber mesh bit of an upgrade there for her and uh, we should be now good to go. I think what we are going to do though is give her... And uh, we're gonna give uh, Atten the, uh, the battle stimulant as well. There we go. Uh, let's, let's go and do this. Uh, they just appeared out of nowhere, didn't they? Uh, okay, uh, we're going to take these guys down one at a time. So I guess... Oh, they're not attacking us yet. Oh, there we go. Okay. That was a little bit weird, but that's okay. We want to do some rapid shots there. We're going to take them down one at a time. If we use the... Hmm... Trying to think what's best here. We're going to take them down one at a time. Let's go for the sniper shot uh, over there. Let's make sure he's targeting the right guy. Let's go for the sniper shot over there. And. Let's go for the flamethrower here as well. She's in a little bit of trouble here. We want to give her the Achani shield if we can. Goodness me. Okay, one guy's gone down, but uh, we've almost lost. Ready? I'm going to run her back a little bit. Oh god, she's still being attacked here, but uh, it is taking out her her shield here, and uh, she's being chased by this guy as well. Let's go for the. Can we keep her alive? There's a lot of a uh, lot of battle, a lot of shots here. Can we remove that one there? Uh, let's give her that. Let's give her a couple of med packs here. And what we want to do is target, uh, I guess we want to target this guy, who, who's lowest. This guy's actually pretty low, a little bit lower than this Zug brother here. If we take uh, him out first. Oh, she loses her, okay. Okay, we do want her to med pack up uh, if she can. Let's uh, cancel this and uh, med pack her up. I hear you. More with that. And uh, he's. Oh my goodness. Came from. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, second one's gone down, and uh, we're going to take this guy out now as well. So let's go and do that. Uh, he's almost down, so that's fine. We've lost Mira though, which is no good. We've lost Mira and uh, we've got three more guys to go, so let's go and... Um, let's go and flamethrower that guy, use a couple of sniper shots. We're going to go for the... He's only got the melee shield, which is no good. Um, let's go and take him out as quickly as we can. Okay, those two are down, and let's go for a frag grenade over there. Uh, I think we're going to be good here. We're going to be good. Uh, 
Okay, so that was a, a pretty tough battle there, and uh, Mira went down, but um, everyone else um, stayed up, which is good. Uh, we've got a static blaster and a few credits there. Mira has taken a Ready? little bit of damage. We're just going to hang out here for a bit. We, we are almost out of mid packs, actually, and uh, those mid packs hardly do anything, but. Um, yeah, we're just going to hang out here for a little while and uh, just pick up all of this stuff and uh, make sure we don't get into any battles uh, too soon. Uh, there's a med pack there, beautiful. Hopefully we'll find a few more of those before we get back to the Ebon Hawk. Uh, another Bronzium Light Battle Armor, so that's worth uh, quite a bit, I think. We can sell that for a bit of cash. Uh, so that's going to be good. There is a bowcaster there as well. Looks like we've got some people walking around, so maybe... Maybe that's it. Let's uh, quickly save the game. Uh, just in case we do get into a little bit more trouble, but... Um, just going to wait for Mira to heal up. Coden is back. Oh, there's more Gand around the corner here as well. I guess we sh can probably take more them out uh, fairly from. quickly. Everyone down! Uh, where is T3 M4? Let's oh, where where that came from? There we go. She can take uh, take him out there, and uh, we should have a T3 M4 here as well. Oh. There we go. Let's uh, flamethrow him. Time to take you down to size. That's another one for me. More where that came from. This is a tough battle, actually. Um, Atten is uh, struggling a little bit to take him down. Let's actually target, uh, take this one down uh, first of all. And there we go. That came from. There we go. And I think they're all down. Now there's one more to go. More where that came from. Beautiful. Okay, so uh, T3 M4 has leveled up as well, and uh, Mira's level up as well. We've got a tranquilizer dart there. Beautiful. Um, she can use that actually because we haven't been using her uh, her special um, wrist launcher that she's got. Advanced med pack there, and that is pretty much it. Now we need to head back to the Ebon Hawk. Um, actually, no, we need to go and uh, talk to TN Tub. Um, so we're going to go and have a chat with him I hear you. Uh, first of all. Let's level up okay, Mira yeah. though, and it will allow her to get her health back as well. She's now level 15 scout. Let's give her some skills here. And uh, we're going to go with the improved rapid shot because she does use that uh, fairly often. And uh, we'll accept that. T3 and 4 gets to level up as well. So we're going to give him uh, some comp computer use, repair, security, uh, and awareness there as well. Let's have a look at the feats. We could make him a little bit tougher. Or give him uh, improved two-weapon fighting. Um, dual strike. We're going to give him dual strike. There we go. Sounds good. Okay, level 15 uh, expert droid. Beautiful. Just say the word. Okay, so we're going to go and visit uh, Tian Tub here. I think it's this. No, it's this door here, actually. Let's uh, let's head on through. Let me take care of this. Pure Pazak. Okay, can you change our ship's ID signature? 
Okay, now we have two of them. Uh, one we got from Tourner's Profits by completing Fass's uh, job there, and another one we got from uh, the Droid Warehouse, I think. So we're going to use the one from the Droid Warehouse here. <laughs> Okay, the Evan Hawk will be intercepted by GoTo's yacht. Two party members will be able to board it to save Jazra Star. Who is the first person you want to send? Uh, who do we want to send? Um, I would send Kraya, but she's missing a hand. Um, Mira's kind of cool as well. She's got the dual, um, the dual blasters there. T3 and 4 is pretty tough for a droid. We're going to take Vissus Ma, um, another Jedi here. Let's go and take her. And... Oh, I'm not really sure. We could take Bayodur. Tarana Mosibu and Asarans, Kramer Sunkum Ratungala, Chawi Mojubu and Kosoracha. Loka kama ran endoso ran we no chabi. Do ran tamana sobu. Tarana mo sibu and asarans. Krema sunkum ratungala. Chawi mo jubu and kosoracha. Loka kama ran endoso ran we no chabi. Do ran tamana sobu. expecting someone taller. I hope you are not in too much pain to hear my words and understand them. I am Goto, one of the officials representing a percentage of non-sanctioned trading here in both the YouTube system and Republic space. And I had a question for you. Are you a Jedi? Uh, what's it to you? I uh, know I turned from the Jedi long ago. I'm not officially a Jedi, I guess, because uh, I was outcast from the Jedi Order. Indeed. That is unfortunate. Still, perhaps you have some value. I have gone to considerable expense and effort to bring you here. It is because I have a job for you. Uh, you have a strange way of asking for my help. Yes. But I am not in the habit of asking for things. And you were so difficult to find even after that small incident on Paragus. There is something important to me I need protected. The Republic, it is broken. What happened on Paragus has set in motion events that I can no longer control. Not to be melodramatic, but I fear it has broken the galaxy irrevocably. This has occupied much of my attention, and there seems to be no predictable way to resolve the situation. So basically things are getting out of control, and uh, he no longer has uh, the control that he, he wants to have. This guy it sounds like a bit of a... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we want to help this guy. You chased me all over the galaxy to ask me to save it. In one standard month, the Republic will collapse. Not due to war or secession because it lacks the infrastructure to support itself. It is unknown to all but a few, but the Republic lost the Jedi Civil War. At the time of their defeat, the Republic was on the brink of collapse. Rather than remain and continue his campaign against the Republic, however, Revan chose to leave known space. A frustrating turn of events as a rallying figurehead could have done much to restore order. Okay, so what do you expect me to do about it? There is something moving in the galaxy that lies beyond the ability of my instruments to detect or predict. I believe it to be a legacy of the Sith, but I have been unable to determine the source. 
Whatever this presence is, it is staging strikes at key figures throughout the Republic, and through some unknown means, it is causing the destruction of worlds. Qatar, a Miraluka world in the Mid-Rim was one such place. I have reason to suspect there was a gathering of Jedi on that world when it was rendered lifeless. I cannot find any pattern in these attacks, and it is a source of frustration to me. There is some clue, however, that perhaps the Jedi are linked to these attacks, or that the targets are significant in some way I have yet to discover. Uh, I'll do what I can. I don't want to see the Jedi wiped out. You misunderstand me. I do not wish to stop the Sith any more than I wish to stop the Jedi. It is simply important to me that the infighting amongst these Jedi religious branches be resolved so the galaxy may be put back together. I do not care which one triumphs. I only want the universe to settle down for a while and catch its breath. All these constant crises are getting somewhat repetitive. Who is this guy who thinks he can control the universe? Uh, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's kind of none of his business. Okay, why do you care about the Republic? Um... Say I am something of a patriot, although I was unable to serve during the troubles with the Mandalorians or against the aggressors known as Malak and Revan. I am able and willing to serve now. The problem is I can find no side to choose. Both are hidden from me as they seem to be hiding from each other. Irritating. It is like a Dejaric board where neither player can see the other nor see all the pieces. It is not a fair game, an equitable game. Uh, then maybe you should try Pazark. Uh, I don't care for the Republic. Um, okay, then maybe you should try Pazark. Pazark bores me. I often suspect my opponent of cheating. I prefer predictable games, such as Galactic Economics. Okay, I'll do what I can to help. That was my intention in the first place. Excellent. It really is in your best interests, you know. There is no margin for error when I say that these Sith seek to murder you and all Jedi everywhere. They have been quite efficient. And when they dispose of you, there will be nothing left to stop them. And the galaxy will fall under their influence. Okay, then I have no problem helping if you set me three. Set me free. Ah, uh, well, there is where we are at cross purposes. I cannot set you free. You have a tendency to cause dangerous repercussions wherever you go, and I would rather keep those to a minimum. The galaxy really is a fragile place right now. I am a businessman. The Republic needs stability to survive, prosper, and grow. Whether it is led by the Sith or supported by the Jedi is of no consequence to me. Uh, maybe you should pay attention to troubles on your own ship. It is the proximity alarm. We are under attack. Somehow, your allies have found you. Unexpected. You will remain here, under guard. I must see to the defense of my ship. Announcement. <clears throat> we seek to make Goto aware of our services, allowing us to facilitate communication and terminate hostilities in the galaxy. If that means blowing up planets, slaughtering entire species, or allying ourselves with the Sith, then that is the logical choice. Our predecessor would never understand our directives. He was slow, weak, and his vocabulator was prone to static. Okay, so we've got to take out some uh, HK droids here. We do have uh, Shock, Force Push, uh, and that is pretty much it. Master Critical Strike, she's got a long um, staff here that she's using. Let's try the Shock, see how that goes. And we're going to take out this one first of all. So a couple of criticals here as well. Ratio achieved. My life is good. She's having a bit of trouble there, just uh, targeting this unit. Um, and Bayodur is almost dead, but we're going to level him up. I'm not sure if we should have taken Bayodur. Maybe we should have taken someone else. Uh, he does have a lot of skill points, though, so let's level him up. 
Um, and let's go for treat injury as well, just in case he needs that. And uh, we're going to accept that and choose that. And uh, let's go for a couple of flurries here. Uh, she's taking on another unit, uh, strangely enough. What else do we have? We've got heal, improved energy resistance, uh, revitalize. How may I serve? Optimal accuracy. Systems failing, master. Uh, it would be good if they took on one at a time. Uh, she's almost. Oh, she's almost down. Actually, we should have uh, should have used heal a little bit earlier. So we can't do that at the moment. Let's see if we can take down this one. Uh, let's do the flurry actually. Let's do a couple of flurries there. Oh, so. yeah. uh, can she do the heal now? Force has been depleted. Maybe a Bayodur to heal her up. Um, you can do that uh, in Koto or two. There we go. Optimal accuracy ratio The honor is mine. Systems failing, master. Whew. That was pretty tough. What do we have here? A utility droid. Uh, I'm going to leave this alone. I'm going to let Bayodur do that. Uh, have the HK units dropped anything? Droid system fortification, droid defense barrier. Let's grab that. Droid reference database, and there's nothing in that one there. Uh, there is a plasteel cylinder here as well. It's locked. Okay, Bayodur, can you open this? I have this open in no time. Child's play. And uh, 70 credits there. Let's just have a quick look around and see what else we can find. There's nothing else here. Quick look at the map as well. We are in the exterior defense of uh, GoTo's yacht. Uh, audience chamber. Um, okay. Let's have a chat with the uh, utility droid here. Uh, access to the droid's memory core. We've received a program called Shutdown. Okay, that's pretty much all we can do here, it seems. Let's head on through this door and... Oh my goodness, what is this? We've got uh, some floating mines here. Um, okay, we are quite low on health, but uh, we can use the healing here. So let's go and see if we can uh, heal up Bayodur. There's a lot of uh, lot of droidy things here on, on Goto's yacht. Let's go. It's gonna be interesting. I wonder if I throw a grenade at this thing. It's gonna destroy all of them. Destroyed one of them. Minor sonic detonator. My life is yours. Okay, we're gonna have to start shooting at these things uh, from a distance. So. I'm trying to figure out what the uh, how we change uh, to the second set of weapons again. I can't remember what the button is. Um, never mind. We'll do it this way. What has she got here? She's got the uh, just the blasters here, and she's using the force pike, two to twelve damage. Um, so we're going to change that uh, instead for. something else okay the static blaster we'll grab that and uh, she can start uh, firing away at these things no, no, Bader. I didn't want Bader to get close just uh let's get this over with yeah there's a bad move Bader. I should have um okay there we go I should have uh, put her in solo mode sorry Bader, but um, yeah didn't want him to run into the mines um, I should have used her in solo mode there. Now we've got to wait, and uh, well, we can heal him up again. Um, it shouldn't take too long. How many health points does he have, actually? He's got 150, which is pretty good. And he needs a lot of XP to, to level up again, so we're just going to keep on 
uh, using the heal here until we can actually heal him up and we're going to save the game before we go into the next room because it looks like there are a lot of droids. Okay, let's head on through and uh, see what we can find. There is a big, oh, a big droid there. Can we draw it back here a little bit? And there we go. Let's go and uh, use shock. And Bayodur can uh, use the uh, couple of criticals there as well. Now, it looks like the alarm uh, has sounded, which is not good. Let's go with a couple of flurries. This thing looks pretty tough. Hopefully we can take it out without too My much trouble. She's going to use heal, which is probably a good <laughs> idea anyway. Oh, she's, she's still... Coming. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Um, what we want to do is... Can we give her something else? Uh, let's have a quick look here. We've got a, a shiny vibro sword. 4 to 14 damage is going to be much better. And we've also got... Uh, a vibro blade which does uh, extra damage to droids which is exactly what we need here okay now we can do a couple of flurries and uh, see if we can take this thing down there we go it's down beautiful and uh, okay command Console. We've got a couple of doors poison. here. Ah, oh, damn it. Poison. Let's go. Bayer Dirt, can you stay out of the poison? The is mine. Um, I don't think we have any way to heal up yeah? uh, from that poison, but hopefully that will uh, heal up by itself. Let's, uh, let's have a look at the command console. Uh, systems control. Access containment cells. Um, access restricted. Run program basic diagnostic. Containment cell force fields are active. Okay, minefield. Uh, the minefield is inactive. Good. Uh, access turret defense. Turrets are operating normally. Uh, droid controller. Droids functioning normally. If we can stop these droids from attacking us, that's going to be really good. Power distribution here. Uh, primary and secondary power supply systems are available. So there's probably some stuff we can do here. Program library. Check the program called basic diagnostic. Okay, upload programs. We want to upload the program called Shutdown. Maybe dangerous. Okay. Um, unlock restricted system. All programs can be run in a system after it is unlocked. To unlock a system, you must acquire its access code. Okay. Okay, let's go to the turret defense. Did I not just upload that uh, program there? Uh, check the program called Shutdown. Shutdown attempts to disable the system may be dangerous. Okay, it doesn't look like I can run Shutdown on any of these. Uh, I'm probably going to need to unlock the restricted systems first, uh, but I need to, to know the access code. So, it's not going to happen right now. Uh, we're going to have to figure that out uh, in a second. Uh, let's open this door here. Ah, there's a go-to guard droid. Let's uh, go and take it out. Oh, may I no, no, no. We're going to have to take out this one first. Uh... There we go. You last fighter. The honor. There we go. They had a uh, maintenance droid, which makes things a little bit more difficult here. Um, what's that on the ground? There's a plasteel cylinder. Let's have a quick look at this. And uh, inside is a Mandalorian power shield and 115 credits. We're going to grab those. Is there anything else here? It's just a couple of beds. And uh, that looks like it. There are some remains though, so let's go and grab these. Uh, droid reference database. I guess we should have a look at that as well. And we're going to continue having a look around in the next episode. We have finally made it onto GoTo's yacht. And uh, we need to rescue Jazra Star, which hopefully we'll do in the next episode. I'll see you all again soon for Knights of the Old Republic 2.